Am I the asshole for never telling my parents I had a son that was given up for adoption? My parents were very cold, strict, and controlling people almost my entire life. Very religious and always cared about how the rest of their church viewed them so they were even harder on me to always be perfect. I was out of the house at 18. I didn't have any money since my parents never let me work so I lived with friends. My girlfriend and I were only 19 when she got pregnant. Neither of us with a place of our own, no money. We weren't at all prepared to be parents. Despite trying to break away from our parents' strict religious views, we still felt guilt about considering abortion. I'm completely pro-choice by the way but personally we couldn't bring ourselves to do it, and looked into adoption instead. We went through the process and our son was adopted by a nice enough couple. It hurt for a long time but we eventually moved on with our lives. The thing is, I never told my parents anything. I feared what they would do if they found out. Yes, at that age I still feared them. Mostly afraid they would try to adopt him instead and raise him in the same dysfunctional household, which I couldn't allow knowing how they'd be. We were no contact at all when this was happening and didn't speak until after 15 years. My dad had a heart attack and was in the hospital. I reached out and helped while he was in recovery. They both wanted to mend our relationship since this was sort of a wake-up call and while it's not perfect and amp, they're in some ways still stuck in a certain mindset. I know they have tried to be more open and loving. Now when my bio son was adopted, we agreed he was free to contact us once he was older and that's exactly what he did when he was 19. Ben, has been in my life for almost two years and it's been such a blessing getting to know the wonderful man he grew up to be. Ben has expressed interest in meeting my parents as he's already met my ex's parents. He knows the whole story about them and that they don't know about him at all. He's fine if I don't want them to know but I decided it was time anyways and decided to speak with them. Boy was it a major disaster. My mom was so upset she was almost in tears and my dad wouldn't even look at me. They acted like I was a monster for never telling them they had a grandchild out in the world and also angry at the fact that I gave him away when they would have given him a home. They were far too upset so I left the house. Despite having confirmation that they would have tried to adopt him and it was the right choice not to let that happen, I have gotten a lot of talks from my mom's family agreeing adoption was the best choice but that my parents still had the right to know of their own grandchild's existence. For that, they believe I was in fact wrong for keeping them from knowing this. I understand lies, especially of this magnitude, would blow up eventually anyways, but I am questioning whether my choice was so bad I'm the asshole for it. Not the asshole. You went no contact for years for a reason. They probably wouldn't have raised that boy any better than they raised you. Letting them know they had a grandchild would have probably caused a shit show. You kept that out and let you and your son have semi-normal and healthy lives. Not the asshole. You did the right thing to protect him from them. Not the asshole. I'm an adoptee and I am really happy to hear that you and your son have made contact and are establishing a relationship. As you had no contact with your parents at the time of his birth, it would be utterly unreasonable for anyone to expect you to have to contacted your parent about the pregnancy and birth. Unless they would have supported you emotionally and financially to keep the family together, seems highly unlikely, then adding them to the mix would just have made everything worse for you all. Good luck with your relationship with your son. Not the asshole. You did the thing that you believed was in the best interests of your son, best of all as he harbors no ill will towards you which shows he understands your reasoning. Absolutely not the asshole. Angry at the fact that I, gave him away, when they would have given him a home. Yes, and they would have raised that wonderful man you mentioned as another close-minded bigot like themselves while simultaneously guilt-tripping you for years and years. You did the right thing. The fact that you now have a healthy relationship with your son and interact so well is testament to the rightness of your decision. I am happy for you that you get to have that relationship now while also having made sure he got the upbringing you might not have been able to give him. Well done op. This one's complicated, but I definitely say you're not the asshole. It seems like you did what was best and safest for you and your ex, and acted in Ben's best interest. It was very mature of you both to acknowledge you weren't ready to be parents, and to understand that growing up with your parents raising him would have been bad. Your parents are the assholes. I'm sorry they forced their views on you, and led you to feel shame for deviating from what they said you should do. Glad to hear you've made contact with Ben. It's great that he's grown up in a supportive household as opposed to the one you seem to resent. 
Not the asshole, it's easy enough to say almost 20 years later that they would have raised their grandchild, but would they really, and if they did, would it have been done with love, or reminding you every day about fire, brimstone, etc., the extent of their current reactions confirms that you were right not to tell them. Not the asshole. But. Your parents won't ever see themselves as the villains here. So you will always be the asshole to them and they were always going to have the same reaction. You made the best decision to shield your kid from these assholes, and regardless of what strangers say, you will always be TBE asshole to them. No, not at all, you did the very first, best, and most important thing a parent can do, made sure your kid was safe, blood family relations mean far too much in our society, toxic behavior, abuse, and so many other terrible things are overlooked in the name of preserving ties among people who have nothing in common but the accident of birth, am I the asshole as a complete testimonial to that, feel proud of yourself for escaping your parents and making sure that your kid had a better childhood than you did. Not the asshole. There was basically no way for this to end in which your parents would be happy. If they'd raised him or known you'd placed him for adoption, or anything, they would have been unhappy. They're still unhappy. They're unhappy people. You did the best possible thing for Ben. He's happy. You're happy. And that's what matters. Not the asshole, my uber-religious parents forced my sister to have her kid at 16 and she had to move to Alaska to get away from them to prevent them from continuing to try to steal my nephew, it's a control thing, 100%. Not the asshole you reap what you sow. Your parents have only themselves to blame for not cultivating a better relationship with you, whereas a younger person you would have felt more comfortable telling them. Not the asshole. Fundamentalist Christians are not good people. Their views are extremely toxic and they have absolutely no business raising children. You did the right thing. Not the asshole. Also, it's done. You should have let us adopt him. Well, shoulda woulda coulda. But it's 2020 now. So do you want to meet him? Not the asshole. You are a good father. You make a tough decision for best for your son. Not the asshole. Not only did you do what was best to protect yourself and Ben but realistically, until Hen was if age and could make these decisions on his own, your parents weren't his grandparents. He was adopted into a family where, presumably, he had loving grandparents. All your parents did was prove that you were right not to tell them. You were young and in a no-win situation with them. Abortion is wrong. According to them, adoption is wrong. Your back was against the wall and you made the only choices you had. You made the right choices. It's their fault and their fault alone that they created a world where their son didn't feel like they could come to them, talk to them and lean on them. Not the asshole. even if they had been better parents, it was still none of their business, they had no right to claim your child, you made great decisions, they can be shocked, and a little distressed you hadn't told them, still doesn't make you an RH I myself have just found out that I have a full brother, earlier this year, I have a lovely relationship with my parents, we talk a lot, about a lot of stuff. They just didn't mention that they had given up a baby 50 plus years ago until this past spring. I am kind of confused about reconciling his never having been mentioned and their enthusiasm for being in touch now that he has contacted them. But it's also not really any of my business. He seems nice. I'll happily meet him once it's safe to do so. It's all kind of weird. Nice, though. Not the asshole. You and your girlfriend made a responsible and loving choice and now are fortunate enough to have him in your life. Your parents are angry with you at least in part because this is easier than facing their own responsibility for wrecking their relationship with you, their own son. Blame is easier than guilt. On this specific issue, being mad about you never telling them about your son, I'll say nah. You were totally right now to tell them considering how strict they were and still are. Regardless of it being your decision to make and but there, I think it was the right decision for the child. Don't blame yourself you were right to do it. However, I think they are entitled to be mad about being hidden the truth regardless of your reason, even though I totally admit you had good reasons. Not the asshole. They left you completely unprepared and penniless, after raising you in such a detrimental way that you could even bring yourself to trust them with a baby. They only cared for their image, never for the well-being of the family. You did right, your gut instinct was right. Now the child has a happy family, is a good person and has a life that doesn't include the bullshit you went through, and that for me is an absolute win. Not the asshole. You gave your child an advantage in life you never had. A decent family that didn't smother him. Oh, bless it, so not the asshole. And the fact that you still question it after all these years makes me sad. 
What kind of childhood would Ben have had living with them? That should answer all your questions right there. Nah. You had every right not to tell them and they also have a right to be upset. Give it some time, it's quite a big bombshell. For that, they believe I was in fact wrong for keeping them from knowing this. It's hard to be wrong. But they are. Your parents did your conscience wonders by confirming that they would have in fact made your son's life hell. Not to mention your own. I don't see a reasonable solution of them adopting him that doesn't involve you being very hands-on or him turning out a Bible-thumping mess. You made the right choice for your son and I hope he sees that. Not the asshole. Your timing was right because it was what you and Ben wanted. Who cares what your parents wanted in this situation? I just don't understand grandparent entitlement. They don't own their children, and shouldn't have rights to their children's children. I freaking hate it when grandparents force their way into their grandchildren's lives when there is no reason to do so, i.e. abuse or neglect, and against the wishes of their children or children-in-law. They had their own kids already. They don't have a right to someone else's even if they are related. They don't have a right to know shish hash tea, not the asshole. Not the asshole. Wow. What a man you are. You tackled a tough situation as a young man maturely, and look how it's paid off. I think Ben is such a well-adjusted man because he wasn't raised by your parents. Not the asshole. Sounds like you did the right thing. Op, not the asshole. You knew what your parents are right, and based on what you have described, you did the right thing. Your choice was not bad. If you are having any doubts, ask yourself this, would you want to grow up as their child again? Not the asshole. You did what any loving parent would do. Protect their kid from harm, no matter the cost. Not the asshole. They're upset at the fact that you made them confront just how shitty of a parenting job they did. Not the asshole. You gave your son a better childhood than you had. That is the best that any parent can do. Not the asshole. You couldn't tell your parents because they would have taken your son to raise themselves. It wasn't an option to tell them because they couldn't have let it be. They would have demanded to raise that baby. Not telling them was necessary to make sure your son had a good life. It is what it is. Not the asshole he was is your child and you have the right to involve anyone you want in his life. If you didn't feel that he would be safe for whatever reason you did the right thing by not putting him in danger. I am glad you are able to get to know Ben and I hope your parents take a better look at the wake-up call they have gotten. Their own son didn't trust them not to fuck up someone else's life. That is a massive wake-up call and bigger than a heart attack as it's personal. Not the asshole you did what you thought was right. Not the asshole. I think it's great that you have a connection to Ben. And he should still have the chance to meet your parents if he wants to. And if it's safe for him to do so. You went NC. Why should you have told them anything? The behavior they displayed at the time stripped them from all rights to know about your child. You did the right thing. And the way they act now proves you right once more. Not the asshole. You did the hardest thing and for the best reasons. You wanted your son to have a good life. And recognizing you were not in a position to do it yourself, you gave him to people who could. You even went so far as to ensure he wouldn't have the problems you had while in childhood due to your parents. You did good. You did what was right, because you knew what they would do. You saved him. You are not the asshole. Not at all. Much respect for being. Honestly so mature and responsible at that young of an age and doing the right thing and recognizing how toxic your family is. Not the asshole, at all. They can be sad about not knowing about the child, but they do not get to make you feel guilty of giving him a better life than you were able to offer at the time. You did the right thing, you and your ex made an extremely selfless choice. While they were absent as parents they expect you to randomly contact them to tell them you're having a child. It doesn't work like that, and they don't get to waltz back in and make you feel like you're wrong. Not the asshole. You were an adult, not living with them and you knew what they were like. IMHO, you did the right thing. You knew how messed up their parenting was and you didn't want that for your son. If you decide to let your son meet them, be certain he understands what he's walking into. Not the asshole. Their response showed your arguments and points were all too valid. Not the asshole. Show me where it's written that your parents have a right to know. I want the legal citation for the law or regulation stating this as well. Not the asshole but I am concerned that you revealed his existence to your parents. What good does that do for him? What have you introduced to his life? Not the asshole you had no idea that there would be any chance of mending your relationship with your parents when you and your ex made the decision. 
It was a good decision and congratulations on having s good relationship with your son. If your parents have any sense they'll realize that their anger and disappointment is their own fault for driving their own child away. And I'd it means so much to them to be grandparents then they better develop a better attitude with you right smartly. To be frank, you didn't owe them jack shit friend. I'm so glad you're in your kid's life. Even if it's just to help him work through finding out where he came from and who he's biologically related to. You also saved him from suffering from your parents, what sounds like, narcissistic tendencies. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You gave Ben the best life you could. Involving your parents in his childhood would not have been the best life for him. Not the asshole. You gave him a chance at a good life, and he appears to be well adjusted, which is something that you feared your parents would never give him. I would keep him far away from your parents unless they change their behavior or attitude, because I fear that it will still affect your son. Not the asshole but I can't for the life of me understand why you let them know of his existence. You called exactly how it was going to turn out. When people show you who they are, believe them. I get that Ben would want to know you, but I don't see how knowing his dysfunctional grandparents benefits him, or you, in any way. You're in now way the a hole here and I honestly think you were acting in Ben's best interests, but I think you invited problems into your life that didn't need to be there. You were no contact, low contact with them for good reasons. If it got to the point that you actually feared your parents when you were an adult, then they had no, right, to know their grandchild. 100% not the asshole and tbh your parents reaction now should be reinforcing how correct your decision to adopt out your son and not tell your parents at the time. They're acting selfishly, coldly, and like the world revolves around them. Given what you've said about the environment you grew up in I cannot even imagine the number of ways they could have fucked you up, or fucked your son up if they'd adopted him, thank god you managed to keep it from them for this long. Not the asshole, you did the right thing, not telling them was also the right thing, he was your son, not theirs, it was all your choice and you made the call based on what you already knew about them and that situation. Not the asshole. Your son would have had the same horrible childhood you had experienced. You protected him and he has turned out well. Their reaction confirms why you made the right choice. They might be related to your son, but they did not have rights over him. His conception was none of their business because of the awful way you were treated.